Every now and then, you're going to be faced with extraordinary circumstance. So the messages rise to the occasion. In April 1975, Ralph White did just that. All Americans are to be evacuated immediately. As American troops withdrew from the Vietnam War, Saigon was on the brink of collapse. The people uncertain what their futures would look like. Ralph, then a 27-year-old banker for Chase Manhattan, was assigned to its Saigon branch. What did they say your job would be? The mission was to keep the branch open as long as possible and to evacuate the Vietnamese employees. In his memoir, Getting Out of Saigon, Ralph details the 13 days he spent trying to devise a plan for evacuation. This was a very unpredictable situation. It was extremely tense. First of all, there were 70,000 enemy troops only 36 miles away. The South Vietnamese government wouldn't let its citizens out. Ming A Tran was the bank's assistant manager of operations when she first met Ralph. What did you think of him when you met him? Good looking guy. <laughs> the general manager did tell us we would be saved, so I really believed him. How dire was the situation for these employees and their families? I thought there was a 50-50 chance that my senior employees would be shot and that the uh, junior employees would be sent into these uh, prison camps. I did have a plan. I had $25,000 in bribe money and I had a revolver and I ended up never using it. What turned out to work was, well, luck. On April 24th, 1975, six days before the fall of Saigon, Ralph received news he'd been waiting for. I got a call from the uh, commercial attache at the embassy and was offered a bus uh, to get through the gates of Tansanu Air Base. He instructed his senior level employees to close the bank, eventually getting them on a military flight out of Vietnam. Ming Nga was on that plane. What was the hardest part about leaving Vietnam? Well, leaving my parents and brothers and sisters. Van Le was 12 years old at the time, his sister Michelle, 13. Their mother was a bank teller, their father, a college professor. I was one of the youngest uh, children to get out. I thought, hey, we're going on a vacation. When we got on the plane, I can see my dad, because I'm like scared, hold on to him. And we take a look at the last look at Saigon. Originally, Ralph was tasked with evacuating four bank employees. In the end, he helped 113 people get out, including many of the staff's loved ones. With the help of sponsor families, the evacuees resettled in the U.S. in the summer of 1975. And just recently, some of the refugees reunited with Ralph. Looking back almost 50 years, I'm filled with immense gratitude towards the people who helped us. Life is really about taking chances, about leap of faith. Sometimes you don't notice it, but it changes people's lives. Did you think of the 113 lives that changed as a result of your decision making? I thought of them all the time. I never had children of my own. I really do think of them as my families. You know, many of the bank staff, like Ming Ad, they were re-employed by Chase here in the United States. Ralph has reconnected with some of those families, as you saw there. But listen to this. He randomly picked a photo for his book cover, this one. And when his book was released, Getting Out of Saigon, last month, he received a call from one of the refugees who told him she was one of the people wow. he helped all those years ago, and those are her kids wow. on the cover oh, wow. of that book. Yeah. So he was drawn to that photo after looking at images yeah. from that time period, and it turns out those were some of the children that got on the military aircraft with him. He wow. really met the moment. Like, it, <laughs> that's just truly. an incredible story. He says many of us are just, we think of ourselves as ordinary people, but if we're in an extraordinary circumstance, mm -hmm. we try to rise to the occasion. It's but I, I say to him, not everybody would do that. No. Right. And you put in perspective, it was almost a little history lesson there because you had to remind me, you know, people don't know why it was so tough to get out or right. why did they want to get out. Obviously, right. we know now, but it wasn't so easy what he did, you know? Not at all, not yeah. at all. Every single day, I mean, this thing reads like a movie. Mm -hmm. Every single day he was doing something else, going to the black market, figuring out how am I going to get these people out. And four became 113 people. It's incredible. It's amazing. With $25,000 and a revolver. And he never ah. had to pay a bribe. Yeah. Shocking. Wow. Thank you, Vic. Yeah. Good. It's great. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.